Hello fish lovers and welcome back to my channel. I have an old problem with uh, this aquarium and also with my previous tank and that is I cannot get rid of the biofilm that is on top of the water. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is my problem guys. The biofilm on top of the water. Uh, I cannot get rid of it. You can see that it breaks over here where the output of my filter is but that's like half of my tank so the white stuff above the water that's my biofilm and it gets worse worse in the opposite side of my tank because I do not have uh, anything over there to agitate the water so I'm going to try to add a power head filter right there in the corner so I'm going to put it upside down let me show it to you so this is going to be this is going to be my my power head filter I had this uh, for 10 years now so I'm going to place this is the output and I'm going to place it upside down, like so. So it's going to suck water through these holes, but the surface water and the, the biofilm also is going to filter it and will release the water from below. So this is what I'm going to try to remove my biofilm. This is what I did. I placed the filter upside down in the tank so the water gets sucked right there on the top it doesn't seem that it will work because the biofilm just flows around the, the holes of the pump didn't manage to make this work I had to move the filter inlet up in the water level so a better suction can be made and now it's sucking the biofilm down in the filter but it, it creates a lot of air bubbles but you can see the biofilm is almost gone it is working with this filter with this power head filter but it makes uh, too much noise and it sucks water from here it's also sucking air along with water and biofilm so I think I'm I'm going to have to cut this uh, this portion off but I'm not going to do that on the, this filter because this is a high quality one I have here another one a cheap a cheap alternative so this is a bio submersible filter 5 watts of power, 300 liters per hour which I already cut the the filter casing using this saw so I'm going to be using this again upside down in the tank I'm going to cover up those holes here with uh, silicone or some duct, duct tape but I think I'm going to use silicone and like I said I'm going to be putting this upside down in the tank and water will be getting sucked uh, here at the top and I hope that the biofilm will remain in the sponge and no more air bubbles will be getting trapped in the water so no more noise and air bubbles in the tank so I'm going to be setting this to maximum like so I already tested it in the tank, but water still getting uh, it's getting through those hole here, holes here. I'm going to cover the holes up, and I'm hoping that water will get, will be getting sucked in here at uh, the top. So I ended ended up using some uh, duct tape. 
it's uh, covering the holes pretty good. I don't think this is going to be dangerous for my fish because water content uh, contact will not be great with the duct tape. I'm not going to keep this in my tank forever. So now I'm going to put this filter to back together. Like so. Okay. So this is the power head. Pretty difficult to do that with one hand. No, I think I, I think I put this backwards. So I like so. Maybe now it should work. Okay, done. I'm going to put the filter, the sponge here, and I'm going to set this in my tank maybe maybe i can get rid of the biofilm let's see this is what i ended up with i had to cut some holes it's not the prettiest skimmer i have ever seen but it's doing its job I replaced the sponge with uh, some filter flask. You can see the water is uh, flowing inside and the biofilm gets trapped in there. I'm going to be using this for some, some time, maybe a week. And I will try to increase my surface agitation to prevent the creation of biofilm on top because I do not like this uh, skimmer in here in my tank. It's ugly. So guys, this is my try to do it yourself skimmer. It's ugly, but sufficient